I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. I struggle to decide what I want for lunch, let alone what I want to do tomorrow. And we're supposed to have like five year plans and shit? Who do you think I am? The psychic twins? Like that's not happening. I mean, I don't know why you'd think I was the psychic twins because I don't have a twin. So that would be an oversight on your part really. But my point is, all this like adult decision making, it can be a bit much. And that's why I've decided that I won't be going it alone anymore. I'm going to lean on internet quizzes to help me soul search today. I know, I'm so sensible. So the first thing I want to start with is where I should live specifically in New Zealand because listen, I'm not a risk taker. You think I'm going overseas, sweetie? I've never been there. I don't even know if it exists. Like when you get in a plane, do they just show you like a green screen movie and then send you home? How, how does that work? I hope it has some questions about finances so I can make it clear that I'm really stingy and I need to know the cheapest city that I can live in. And yes, I meant stingy, not broke, okay? No, I'm not broke. <laughs> and it looks like our options are Auckland, Hamilton, Wellington, Christchurch, or Dunedin. So maybe the answer I'm hoping for is none of the above. What's your age bracket? That actually had me stumped for a second. I looked at the under 19 and I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the one. No, it's not. No, I've had a couple birthdays since then. It's getting hard to keep up with, to be honest. Sorry. <laughs> I've seen a lot of jokes online about like the US using anything but measurements to measure things. Like, oh, a banana for scale, right? But I didn't know that Kiwis did this. There's about half a dozen of us. Are we talking a baker's dozen or like a normal dozen? And then one, two, two and a half children. Like, are we being cryptic on purpose? What do you mean one to two and a half children? Did you eat the other half? Oh, just standard Kiwi family things. Yeah, they were getting annoying, so I just bit their head off. Literally. Literally, not figuratively. It doesn't have an option for having a partner. Like, do I say one child? Let's say we're moving the whole family. We're moving about half a dozen of us. Oh my God, did that just give me an Auckland? The population there is big enough. What are they trying to do? They're building up the Auckland army. Which is your favorite famous Kiwi? Who was the one that got in massive trouble on that talent show? Natalia Kills? Not even an option? That's so sad. Okay, Kimbra had her moment. And by her moment, I mean one of her songs played on the radio. I don't even know which song it was. I just know the name. Was it not somebody that, yeah, it was. Some Somebody that you used to know. Oh yeah, iconic. I stick with my answer. That girl is the music industry, okay? What is your favorite pastime? Okay, the cycling and the mountain biking is a bit excessive. Not everyone likes wheels, okay? What if? What about just going for a walk? Could we just have a walk option? Rugby, like I'm not that tough. I guess out of these, music, which I know a plot twist, she doesn't game in her free time, what? But she's such a gamer. Well, sorry to shock you. Oh my God. Wow. These are high brackets. Your annual, who the f is making over 106K in New Zealand? The sheep? Like, is there something I don't know about there? How cold is cold? Honestly, none of the above. I'm not sure if this was even made by a Kiwi. 15 is like, you're nearing 16 there. That's about volcano levels of heat. Like we might melt and die. Describe your ideal walk. There's the walk option. They've got a whole section for it. Never mind, I take it back. I'm glad they let cycling have its moment to shine. Huh? Lumpy with a fairy or two? Lumpy with a fairy or two? Where is that implying that I'm going? Where's the, I just walk around the block. Where's the I walk for exercise option? Where's the I'm too scared to go to the gym option? Like, I don't want to say lumpy with a fairy or two because I don't even know what that means, but I think I'm going to have to. How much would you pay for a house? None of the above. I will not even make this in my lifetime. I wish the too much option was not like I would pay too much, but like all of these are too much. 690K is the highest I'll go. Like, I think the the idea is you pay the mortgage off before you die, not after. How much rain is too much rain? <laughs> rain is optional. <laughs> you know, I like things dry, but it's wishful thinking. And your ideal comfort food? Fish and chips aren't comfort food. Fish and chips are just what the structure of my body is made of. Like my cells are all fish and chips. My hair, the grease in it, that's fish and chip grease. I love chips, okay? I don't eat ice cream for comfort. We're going cheese rolls. I'm a Southlander. What's your favorite music? Well, if you're saying favorite, then, <laughs> then no. Kimbra, you know? But it's gotta be between the Lord or the Exponents. The Exponents were like, Why does love do this to me? Who loves who the most? I'll say goodbye. Okay, listen, that's probably more Lord songs that I could sing off the top of my head. So I'm going with the Exponents. Don't give me Auckland. They gave me Dunedin. All right. That's like, two hours up the road from me. I could do a move to Dunedin. Oh yes, and so many famous, incredibly recognizable Kiwis have come from Dunedin. I know all of those people. Nobody does much in New Zealand, do they? Having always scroll down, I think Christchurch would be my favorite city out of these, but unfortunately the quiz said I don't belong there, so I'm just gonna have to be okay with what I've got. This is meant to be solving my problems for me, so I don't have to think. So I guess I'm going to Dunedin. Thanks, New Zealand Herald. Now the next thing is pretty imperative if I'm going to move to another city which obviously I am because the quiz told me to. I'm gonna need to make money there, right? But like, I'm not a skilled worker. Do I look like I went to college? Does it sound like there's anything in my brain? 
No is the correct answer. So I'm gonna need to figure out what I wanna do, which means I've got to take the Korea test. I couldn't pick another one. This one is called the Korea test. Nothing is on this level. So I'm just gonna rush through these because it said it would take me about 15 minutes, but I'm gonna I'm gonna aim for about five because I have a lot of decision making to do today. All these quizzes have a lot of decision making to do for me today. My emotional reactions often surprise others. I think they're trying to like on the low test if we're psychopaths or not. And if we are, they're like, I know what you could do. You could be like a CEO. <laughs> Don't let anybody stop you. You know, that one really guts me. The creativity one. I try to gaslight myself into thinking I'm creative, but it just doesn't, like, I don't even have the creativity to pretend that I'm creative. I am a merry person. Ho, ho, ho. Yo, I didn't know they were recruiting fucking Santas. Sign me up. Occasionally when I think about myself, I have a hard time recognizing any qualities. No. Ginger. Easy. I accidentally checked if there is no art form or event that I wouldn't like to experience, but I changed my mind immediately after. I can't be bothered going back, but like, what if it's like gladiator fights. I don't actually want to see that. So my brain went to like a cute little concert. <laughs> I've answered so many questions about whether I get angry or not. I don't know what they're trying to imply here. I prefer new and innovative things. I prefer new and innovative things. Is this an affirmation? Is this the new and innovative way of writing sentences? Just saying everything twice? Is this the new and innovative way of writing? <laughs> I can't say that twice. I can't even remember what I said. Oh my god. Please don't make me pay. After all that, I definitely, I know one thing I can't be, it's a professional quiz taker. My God, that drained me. Uh, they are gonna make me pay quite a lot of money, actually. 26.90? I could be putting it towards my $690,000 house, thank you. At the top, it says something about mathematical and technical skills, which I don't think ties into the amount of times they asked me if I was angry. Like, I don't know where they got that I was good at maths and technical skills. I think they might have given me someone else's results. Okay, I'm just gonna do a good old tried and true BuzzFeed test. See, this looks so much more trustworthy. At least I'm have to pay for an answer. Designer, fantastic. Thanks, BuzzFeed. Unfortunately, they didn't ask any questions about whether I was creative or not, because um, because <laughs> we just talked about this. Okay, but BuzzFeed clearly didn't hear. They say, you are an artist. Creative juices are oozing out of you. Maybe that's where all my creativity went. Maybe I've already oozed it all out. What a crying shame, but okay. All right, I'm gonna be a designer. A modern day Michelangelo. I can either be a designer, an architect, or an editor. Cause they've given me more options. Now I need a BuzzFeed test on whether I should be an architect, a designer, or an editor. But either way, I I don't think I want to do any of that thing. <laughs> Can someone give me a new brain? I can't believe that came out of my mouth. Any of that thing. What I really want to do, okay, deep down in my heart of hearts is be a YouTuber. But it hasn't really worked out for me since I was like 15. Um, don't know why I had it all figured out when I was 15, but I can't figure it out now. I wish I made a course that I could go look back on. But, um, I'm just gonna do a, a what videos should I make on YouTube quiz. They're gonna help me uncover my digital potential with this quiz, which is just the sentence I needed to hear. A breath of fresh air, really. Cause I couldn't do it by myself. So I'm, I'm so glad they're here to help. I've I feel like what I'd like to give my, something handmade would be okay, but concert tickets or like event tickets are an experience and I work events, so I don't really get to guard them because I'm working all of them. Am I ready to start the quiz? Why do you think I tapped the button? Really? You really switched it up on me like that? I'll go for concert tickets, I guess. I don't know. My mum got me a bin and a blanket for my last birthday and I genuinely, I'm an adult now because I really, really appreciated it. So I think you can get me anything or you could just get me nothing, which I'd probably prefer. What's your favorite color? Someone tell them that white is a shade. That's disappointing. And they've given me four options and one of them, two of them aren't even colors. I don't know what they're expecting from me here. What's the perfect way to start a day? That first one sounds exhausting. That second one sounds exhausting. That third one sounds exhausting and then energizing. So I'd probably go with the second one, but like in my dream, like alternate unit, like if you go through a portal to another universe, maybe that's what I'm doing in my mornings. But at this stage, I just wake up and take a shower and go, ugh. Cause I gotta do all the shit that I did yesterday again. Today. Exhausting. What takes away plenty of time for you during the week? Checking out what's new in the world. It's Cause we've got, okay, we've got a supermarket chain called New World in New Zealand. So my brain went to like, instead of saying I'm going grocery shopping from now on, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna go check out what's new in the world. I guess kind of that one, but it's not what's new in the world. It's just like, what's new in my world. Like I just read random shit and watch random shit on YouTube. Which one of these makes you cringe? Oh my God. Oh, oh, am I going with a pile of dishes or a big mess on my desk? Oh, I think it's gotta be the dishes. But just reading those alone almost made me cry. What do you like to do during the holiday season? A bit of a toss up between the cookies and the holiday movies. Cause I feel like they kind of go together. I'll go for the cookie option. It's hard to find an excuse to bake cookies sometimes. What's your ideal career? Anything that has to do with showbiz, baby. There's no biz like showbiz. I definitely wouldn't do anything that has to do with showbiz. Cause there's some pretty fucked up things that happen in showbiz. So maybe I'll just go with an entrepreneur because oh, listen, if I was a makeup artist or a chef, no, I wouldn't be. Not past like one shift. They'd be like, oh, I thought you said you were good at this. And I'd be like, 
Did I? How would your friends describe you? None of those. Capable, handy, crafty, and versatile. God, a girl can dream, can't she? Um, handy? I've got two of them, so I don't know. I'll say versatile because I'm not particularly good at anything. So what's your favorite TV channel? Bestie, you think I watch TV? I'm taking a YouTube quiz, am I not? I guess TLC out of those. Or the Food Network. Food shows can be quite a guilty pleasure. Are you a team player? Uh, yeah. I work with people. I don't mind working with people. A lifestyle channel? Oh my god, Slay. You love fitness, cooking, movies, chit chat, and all sorts of different topics. Yep, a lifestyle channel is definitely for you. You love showing people things you like and dislike. You're quite an influencer. Oh, well, if you say so, pro profs. All right, guys, coming up. Days of my life, my morning routine, baking holiday cookies, and then watching holiday movies. The potential is endless. But then, like, will I be successful? Oh, good. I'll be 54% successful. So, like, I'll get really close to being good, but I'll never quite get there, and then I'll quit in a miserable fit of rage. This is a very vague answer. They're like, you'll get noticed, but not by much. You'll get a lot of subscribers, but... Not a whole lot of subscribers. <laughs> like, give me something. Okay, because I'm only going to be 54% successful on YouTube. I might need something else to do in my free time. Like, after the miserable fit of rage happens. So, I'm just going to jump on one of these um, what hobby should you take up quizzes. Just so I know when the time comes. If I won the lottery tomorrow, I would save it. Would I go on a vacation? Sure, but a luxury one? No, no, we're traveling the world dirt cheap, and then I'm saving the extra milli in my bag. Like, I've been broke once. I'm not doing it again. Okay, if I won the lottery, that's me done. I've got everything I need now. I'm just not letting it go. Can I afford groceries? No, I'm going to starve to death. I have a million in my bank account, and it's staying there. Choose a tattoo. I know that this is, like, controversial, but if I got a tattoo, I would get, like, a song lyric. Pick a language to learn. Probably German is the closest to what I'd start with learning, because I'm, my dad was Dutch. I can say ik spreek Nederlands, which is a lie. I don't speak Dutch. I can't remember the word for no right now. <laughs> I do not speak Nederlands. I can also say ik ben and vrouw badly. Duolingo taught me that. It means I am a woman, so I'm pretty much fluent. If you could only pick one food to eat for the rest of your life, who would pick salad? Rabbits? Are there rabbits taking this quiz? Well, I feel like at least tacos is like a round meal, but they're very annoying to eat. I'm gonna have to put pizza. And I've just put like, like I'll get a pizza base, right? And just put like a full meal on top of Cause it. Cause there's no pizza specifics here. I can have whatever pizza I want. So I can have an everything pizza. Pick a movie show. I always toss up between horror and comedy, but like deep down I do like comedy better. <laughs> Which do you prefer texting or talking on the phone? Talking on the phone? Are you kidding? Ew. Can you touch your tongue to your nose? Mm. Obviously. Did you just try touch your tongue to your nose? No. No, I didn't try. I did it. What do you like to wear to lounge in? Honestly, jeans. Which is not really lounging clothes, but I'm too lazy to change most of the time. And finally, it's Friday night. Oh, I can be found at work, most likely. <laughs> oh, okay. So when I'm done with YouTube, I'm going to invest my time into growing a vegetable garden. So I don't know if that's the best for me because I am quite impatient. So I'd like plant a seed and be like, oh, that was so shitty and boring. And now I've got to wait for months for it to grow. I don't really understand how gardening works, but... I would like to have a garden one day. Okay, pop off BuzzFeed, thanks for the inspo. And then finally, because I think this will really tie everything together in a nice little bar. I'm going to take a which Disney princess are you quiz. Because then I'm going to really know like what my nature is like, what I was meant to do in my life. Like, am I meant to be my evil stepmother's maid? Or the maid to seven little dwarves? Like, what? what's my calling? They want me to pick my favorite Disney movie. And they've given me some piss poor options. There's like three in here that I'm contemplating. I'm guessing I shouldn't have to guess. This is my fair I should know. See the Lion King or Lady and the Tramp? The Lion King was my favorite growing up, but right now I'm feeling Lady and the Tramp. So that's what I'm going with. Your enemies are probably envious of your... I'll, I'll probably my gingerness. I'll probably... Probably how lame I am. I'll probably that I talk to a camera in my free time. Yeah, I'm sure they're super jealous of me. I don't think I have enemies, to be fair. What are you most scared of? Um, lots. Like all of the above, maybe? I might say war, because like that would suck for everybody. But there's definitely things in my personal life here that I'm scared of. But like, war, well, yeah, that sucks. What do you look for in a soulmate? Well, I need him to be like my soulmate. Gotta be kindness, I guess. Or humor. I hate questions like this. Choose an animal to talk to. Animals can't talk. Don't be delusional now. I'm trying to think of which animal I could talk to without screaming and running away because they've given me terrifying options. Maybe like a mouse. I could probably be mates with a mouse as long as it stays in its cage. And if I could talk to it, because I had a pet mouse when I was a kid, but I was really scared that I would hurt it because it would just like climb up under my shirt and like I'd worry that I'd lose it and squash it. So I'd probably be able to talk to it and say, hey, don't go anywhere that I'd, I could squash you. And then we'd be besties. What do you like to do with your time off? 
Where's the YouTube option? I'm always working. <laughs> to be fair, what do I like to do with my time off is get out of town. What can I afford to do in my time off is a different story. What's the secret to true love? It's gotta be understanding. I feel like you can communicate, but if you don't understand, then I don't know, maybe learn each other's languages. Where would you like to have a first date? Oh, take me to the park, whatever. We can go from there. Pick a singer. Where's Kimbra? Oh, I love Lee Cyrus. Gotta go with Bruno Mars out of these. He's the real outlier. And I don't know who Miles Davis is. What is your happily ever after? I'm not sure yet. That's why I've done all these quizzes. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't trust the BuzzFeed quizzes. Mulan, outgoing and vivacious, you're considered the sporty one in your group. Maybe I should have put lying around for what I do in my free time. <laughs> BuzzFeed doesn't know me as well as they think they do, but at least they tried. Now I know so much about myself, I'm going to start packing my bags and moving to Dunedin to be either a mathematician or an architect or a designer. I'm also going to get 54% famous on YouTube until I decide all of you guys and I go start a little vegetable garden. It's gonna be a little hermit after that. Oh, the internet? No, I don't use that. Sorry, I just speak to my salary. Yeah, I'm just gonna really channel my inner moolah. Maybe do some more sports. I mean, God, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, that really cured everything for me. What can I say? If you're lost in life, why haven't you taken BuzzFeed quizzes yet? Hello? Are you even thinking? Yeah, no, let's be real. I still have no idea. Um, and thanks for watching. I really do feel like I've reached my 54% success potential with you guys on my channel. I'm so grateful. Okay, see you later, bye.